If you didn't get a chance to hit Coachella this year, but you love the fashions, Julia Grieve is here to show you how to rock festival-worthy style. <laughs> I love that we're talking about this because everyone is into festival style and you know what you need not ever hit the desert you can still rock these Absolutely. styles. Absolutely like I don't know when festival actually became like a fashion cycle. Right. You know what I mean you think of summer winter fall now it's festival. Yeah. Uh, I think the big thing is it does kick off with Coachella that is the beginning mm -hmm. which happens in April in Coachella Valley in California over 200,000 people flock there. That many? Absolutely and designers can spend months and thousands of dollars putting together outfits mm -hmm. for influencers to wear. It is basically Amazing. the red carpet of street style. The red carpet of street style, but it's like gritty. It is. Because you're but in a dusty desert. It is, but what happens is these styles will trickle down to everyday fashion. Totally. Because they're carefree, fun, love, and festival. Yeah. It's what summer should be like. Right. So what I'm going to show you is some of the key looks that we saw this year at Coachella and how you can actually wear them in real life. Okay. Okay, so let's start first with the denim cutoffs. Mm -hmm. Now, the... What they're calling these are janties. Tell us why. Janties. I even just saying the word, I get giggly. Basically, what it is is that the shorts now have become so short yeah. that they're almost like panties. Yeah. So it's jean panties, which right. become janties. Janties. Yeah. Pretty it's much every, a mother's nightmare, if you just want to say. It's every mother's nightmare. And let me tell you, I've seen the underbum, because you yeah. get the underbum exposed if you're wearing the janties, and I, I see, you yeah. know, oh, beautiful young yes. ladies getting on public transit with their janties. Yeah. So let's be And sorry. I'm like, you're going to be sitting on the okay. seat. For this ex outfit, okay. exactly. Now, these shorts are not janties, okay? No, These are that's appropriate covering. cut off legs. This whole outfit I actually got from Over the Rainbow, which is my favorite place to get done. But this is the trick to this whole outfit is yeah. this dress. So you right. put over the dress, over the top, so right. nothing is hiding from behind, nothing's dropping out behind. Yes. You put it together, you have that carefree, flowy look as if you're running in the desert or mm -hmm. running inside to get your barbecue stuff, you know, right. to the barbecue, <laughs> but whatever. So you've got that nice look, but think of that. Think of a wrap dress that you may have. Use that over top of your denim shorts. That's how you can ah. get it into real life. Your wrap dress, your shirt dress, all, all of that, that stuff. stuff use to it cover as a up the back end, but totally. you still get that flowy feel. Absolutely. Okay, so the next one now is... I love is, this I know, one. Don't you love it? Yeah. Wide legs. When I think of wide legs, I always think of festivals, right? Janis yes. Joplin. But it really was this season that we saw the big comeback of the wide leg denim. True. And in true festival style, you know, paired it with a graphic tee, really fun, and embroidery. You cannot get to a festival without embroidery. Right. So again, this jacket is so fun. The whole outfit just pulled together. Really, really good fun. It's great. It's eclectic, so just nothing needs to match. No, that's it. It's, it's about it like your be, foot loose and fancy it, free. Absolutely. That is the whole trick to pulling off a festival look yeah. is just being carefree, easy, pull it together. Right. Okay, so now the next trend that we saw a lot this year was, oh my God, gag me with a spoon, acid wash. <laughs> acid I'm so wash excited. I love acid wash. It is back. We saw it like crazy. Um, this skirt I would call more of an acid wash light. Yeah. Like it's not as intense as that 90s that we would see it or maybe the ones that you did actually see in Coachella. Yes. This is a more wearable wash. Totally. Um, which I think is really important when you're starting to see those trends that come back in again mm -hmm. is that we sort of slow down a little bit add a modern twist to them so yes. you don't end up looking you know costumous we yeah, want to look modern they're never exactly the same as yeah. they as they were the first no, time around no, there's gotta, always you, a little detail that's changed and you got to figure that out so you don't embarrass your children completely right right okay and then now this, one. this is the denim that we saw so much of this year which I love is the Bermuda short right it's great I mean you could wear janties but you, you could. could you could but why not let's wear the Bermuda short a bit longer. These ones I actually made and they are so easy to make. Yeah. Um, just taking an old pair of skinny jeans and you can just do it. But Good. what I love about the Bermuda short is I paired it with a t-shirt mm -hmm. and the, the um, sheer dresses. All those mm -hmm. sheer dresses that you see. It's a great way to wear them. You Layer know? them. We, we may not be the generous and want to wear around showing yeah, it, you know. Exactly. Put on a Bermuda short, put on a tank top t-shirt and you've got that look. I love that look. Okay. That's great and it's accessible. A lot so of people can pull quickly, that off. quickly, how to make the Bermuda shorts. Yes. What you're going to do is you're going to take your jeans, your skinnies that are sitting in your closet, yep. and the first thing you want to do is put them on, which mm -hmm. I'm not going to put them on, but you want to put them on because you need to measure against your knee. Yeah. So as soon as you measure your knee, if you want to have them at the knee, you could cut right at the knee or cut a little above. So I'm just going to make a little mark. So you have that mark right there. Good. That's it. Okay, here we go. Let's go fast now. And then we're going to fold them over, and you're just going to cut where 
that line was. I remember making jean shorts like crazy oh my God. growing like you just up. I mean, this is this is what you do when you're tired of your jeans Absolutely. and you don't want to get rid of them. And you just create. cut them off. I know exactly. Just cut them, cut them. I like to cut the two at the same time, which is a bit. The only thing to keep in mind, though, is that the Bermuda short that is big in festival style, it's fairly tight. It's very tight. So the tight. ones we were wearing in the 90s, they were like, they were tight, which is why you said use your skinny jeans exactly, for this. Exactly. It's not a baggy Bermuda short. No, it's not. It should be a tight one, and then you can do a cuff at the end yes. as well, which is really nice. Okay, so there, I got the one leg off. So once it's cut like that, I know it looks a little bit Fred Flintstone at the moment, <laughs> but if you throw that into the wash, it will work out, it'll be fine. So yeah. you can do that, and then you can just add the cuff to it, right? and then you've got that great little look. How and easy, easy is that? I know, right? So it's not it's not a hard thing to make. Yes. Easy, fast, and again, sort of that appropriate looking jean short. That, is what love I would that. call it. Now, if yes. you wanted to go all the way up, never mind. We're not even going to go on there. We're not going to go on there. Julia, thank you so <laughs> no much worries. for that.